Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Sorry I've been missing in action, but better late than never. This look is inspired by Tor Venus, which is an artist that I follow on Instagram and DeviantArt. Check him out guys, he's pretty amazing. To start off, I am using Living Dog Clay. I use this stuff for everything, teeth, bones related. It is amazing to sculpt, it is easy to purchase on eBay, and it is cheap. Highly recommend it. Living Dog Clay is super lightweight, so when you apply it to your prosthetics, it doesn't weigh them down. Once you've sculpted it, you throw it in the oven to harden up for 15 minutes, and boom, you have teeth. Now to build the prosthetic. I'm using liquid latex from Global Colors and I've just got cotton wool and I'm gonna start building onto my face cast. If you don't have a face cast, you can build this on a flat board. It just works better if you have a face cast, so I definitely recommend going to get one. Once I've built my prosthetic, I tend to let it air dry for about a day, but you can fast track this by using a blow dryer. Be sure to be careful when removing the prosthetic from your face cast. Liquid latex is quite strong, so it should be easily removed. Let's make sure it fits, and of course it fits like a glove. Using Global Colors black body paint, I hold the prosthetic up to my face to map out where the black paint will be going. Now using Prosade glue, I got this Prosade glue from Scotty's but you can pretty much get it anywhere online. If I can open it. Oh dear. Yeah, don't use your teeth. Why would I do that? So I apply one layer of the Prose glue to the back of the prosthetic and hold it on my face until it doesn't move. Now using a piece of cut up sponge, I'm going to use liquid latex to stipple around the edge of the prosthetic, which helps blend it into the skin. Also keeps it on your face. Also, I am using little bits of ripped tissue to build around the edge of the prosthetic so it blends into the skin well. I will admit I did not blend it into the skin too good in this video, but I was on a super short time frame, so when you're doing it in real life, blend it a little more. Now to add some skin tone to the prosthetic. I'm using Radi Essence foundation but you can use any brand of foundation that you have. I build it onto the face and then I start building it up onto the prosthetic. Now my favourite part of all my monster making, time for the blood. I am using Graftobian's blood gel. It is super easy to apply and it looks so real. So there you have it guys, my Tor Venus inspired monster look for 2018. Very first video, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to message me, comment below, message me on Instagram or Facebook, all at Sarah Moodle. If you have any questions, I am more than happy to help. 